tonight at MEC. Please welcome your host, Jackson. How's that? Yeah. Sorry guys, sorry about that, that's my fault. My fault. All right guys, thank you so much for having me on the show. One of my favorite nights on the youth group calendar is to sit here with you guys tonight at NBC. It's a great, great event. We get to share, we get to enjoy, we get to listen to guys, like guys and girls, sorry, we listen, listen to our leaders share. Uh, if you've never seen the show, welcome for the first time is out there. But first of all, got a couple of quick announcements. We're gonna get straight into the announcements. The first announcement is what's coming up in uh, two weeks time. Possible, possible. Revive, right? Remember Revive? Everyone knows what Revive is, yeah? No? Okay, guys, Revive. It's in two weeks' time. Invite all your non-Christian mates. Give them the best experience of youth group they could have. We're going to have heaps of churches here. It's $5. Remember that, $5. And we have to be here at what time? Does anyone know? What does it say up there? 6.30. 6.30. All right, sweet as. Now, with that, with that one, guys, with that one, we also have this thing coming up next week which is Army Boot Camp. That's the, uh, that's the thing we're doing next week. And there's two re the reason why I bring this up is because what we want you guys to do is to dress up in your best Army camo clothes, okay? I know a lot of you out there have Army gear. Next week is the night to wear it, okay? Two reasons. Shh. First reason, because next week is Army camo, so we, we want to get into it. But the second reason is we're taking a photo. Because there's a competition at Revive the week after where we're going to be doing shout outs to all the youth groups out there and they're going to be doing all these photos and ours is going to come up, we want to have the best photo, it's just like, nah, we all in camo, it's going to be a cool shot. So you guys can wear camo next week, right? Yeah? yeah. Next week? Okay, camo. Now let's get straight into it. I want to welcome our guests for tonight, Matt and Claire. Let's give them a round of applause. They're coming down the sides, give us some high fives here. No, I know high fives. All right. High five for Claire. Maddie, right, thanks sir. for joining us. Take a seat, guys. Well, there you go. Thank you very much, guys, for joining us on the show. It's always fun. We've done Meet the Leader. We've done Meet the Speaker. We've done Meet the Kid. It's always good to get someone in, to, to meet them, to understand who they are, but also play some good games. Now, you remember the first game we play when we get some leaders up here? What is it? Basketball, right? Are we going to do the basketball? You guys ready for the basketball? All right, we're going to get the balls out the front. You guys know how this works, okay? We've got the leaderboard here. We're gonna get a timer on the screen in a second. We we'll wait for our balls. Here they come. Now let's take a look at the scoreboard here, guys. Let's remember the top score to beat is Luke Bartlett, four, okay? Four, Brett, three, Emily, two, and that goes all the way down for a strong zero for Luke Field. All right, here we go. Let's get the timer up. Four, three, two, one. Let's go, come on, guys. Give it some. Here we go, here we go. Oh, close miss. Here we go. Oh, close again. Frisbees aren't doing too well. Here we go. Come on, guys. Let's get one in. Let's get one in. Ten seconds left. Come on, guys. Oh. Oh. Three seconds. Oh, no. Guys. Oh, well, give them a round of applause. <laughs> oh. They did do very well. Unfortunately, not well enough oh, oh. to get up the leaderboard there. Uh. Careful of the boxes. Breaking okay, stuff. Matt Ashton, you got a strong zero. <laughs> but I mean, mine was Luke, so that's okay. Like and Luke Claire, Field, so good. Yeah. zero. Claire got zero? I want to give it a one, but let's give it oh. point, point yeah? five. Zero, oh. sorry. <laughs> it's a zero. It's a zero for Claire and Matt. Those will go on the board in a second. But guys, thanks for playing. It's always fun to do the little intro basketball game. We're going to move straight on into the interview because I really want you guys to get, your, uh, get to know these guys. So we'll start with Claire. All right, simple question up first. I hope you get this one right. Okay. What is your full name? Claire Victoria Charles. She got it right. Well done. Ooh. All right. <laughs> and Claire, what is your role here at uh, Nawe Youth? Um, I lead Year 8 Girls. Year 8 Girls. Shout out to the Year 8 Girls. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Uh, what do you do during the week? Um, I study social work at Wollongong Uni. Awesome. Uh, how long have you been coming to Nawi Baptist Church? Um, like five or six years now. Five or six years, good stuff. And uh, round of applause. Thank okay. you. 
Okay. Okay, why not? Um, where are you about encouragement on the show? It's all good. Uh, could you quickly share with us maybe a few of the struggles that you've been dealing with um, over the last few years? Because tonight we're looking at this idea of struggle and perseverance in our study. So, so what are some of those, or maybe the, the biggest struggle for you over the past few years? Yeah, I think um, for me, um, I struggle most when I'm choosing to follow Jesus um, and to make choices that um, people really don't agree with. I think okay. that's hard. Yeah, so basically a lot of struggles with uh, making godly decisions and yeah. your own faith, but the opposition is the key there because yeah. that's something that's really difficult. So can you explain maybe more about this opposition that you're facing? Yeah, so um, I come from a family that's not Christian, so um, all the choices that I make... Um, they don't particularly agree with. Um, so just when I started coming to youth group, I faced a lot of opposition just to come here. And mm. um, yeah, they didn't really know what we did here um, or what we learnt. And um, eventually they let me come. And then I got the opportunity to go to Wellington. Mm. Um, and that was amazing. Um, and yeah, I just grew so much in my relationship with God. And um, he really taught me a lot on that trip and I came back wanting to be baptised um, but my family didn't want to come and they mm. didn't support the idea of me being baptised. Um, so I prayed about it and I waited a year and after the second Wellington I came back and was like, my parents, I want to get baptised um, and yeah, it was amazing. They got to come um, and watch me tell my testimony and mm. see me get baptised and um, meet my friends. Um, and it, also last year, I did a Christian gap year um, at a Bible college, and I think that was the hardest thing for them, um, for me to make a decision to go to Bible college for a year instead of going to uni. Um, but yeah, throughout all that, um, I've really focused on my obedience to God because um, in all things I want to do what he tells me to do mm. um, and that comes at a cost of sometimes um, my parents not agreeing with my decisions and mm. yeah it's quite hard but um, ultimately I want to yeah. live a life that brings glory to God. Yeah and I'm sure something that we can all relate to is the fact that like we're facing that opposition and it's difficult to make the godly decision right and for Claire she had to persevere through years you know she had to wait a year before her family would come and watch her get baptized and that's what it is about persevering and then changing that character and we've we've been able to see Claire's character grow over the last few years so ask her more questions later on big thank you to Claire for sharing that <laughs> thanks Claire now Matt you've been sitting there patiently it's your turn is that all right we're yeah, ready to I go so. we can start you yeah. want to check your cheat notes or anything for your name no no, no we're good okay all right well what's your name Matty give us uh, your name. my name is Matthew Wayne Ashton Wayne Ashton remember that okay <laughs> no I don't think so it's, my dad's <laughs> it's, his dad, it's his dad's name but we're gonna move on from that okay let me know if you know the TV show I'd like to know what is your role here at youth uh, so I lead the year nine boys you! You know, boys, shout out to you, know, boys. Uh, what do you do during the week, Matty? Uh, I'm a builder, so yeah. That, that's build, it, just builder. Build houses. Lego. Yeah, no Lego worries. houses. Real he builds big Lego during the week, that's cool. Yeah. Professional sometimes. Lego builder. Uh, how long have you been coming to Nowi Baptist Church? Uh, probably about two and a half years now. Two and a half years. Yeah. Good stuff. No encouragement for Matt, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's the encouragement. <laughs> could, you, could you quickly share with us, similar to Claire, um, maybe. Uh, is some stories about, for you, what it's been like to struggle through uh, your walk in, in, in Christianity and some of that perseverance that you've had to show. Yeah, so I, yeah, before I came to Nawi, I was um, lucky enough to be born into a Christian family. Um, yeah, so I grew up through that Christian family and, um, yeah, it was like a real struggle once I started to kind of getting towards like 18, 19. Um, I was still at the same church. I was kind of like, I went to when I was born, mm. uh, so I'd been to that church for about 18, 19 years. Um, the night service that I went to, there was 25 people there and I was related to six of them. Um, so like, yeah, this is like a quarter of their youth group, um, which is pretty crazy. And yeah, it was a real struggle just to like, I thought Christian people were kind of like weird and like there was no people my age or anything like that. So I didn't really have like friends to hang out with who were Christians. Um, and eventually my parents decided to move and come to Nawi, and I was kind of being stubborn and I wasn't really listening to what God wanted. Um, 
and I stayed at that church for a couple of months um, and eventually came to Nawi. Um, mm. And just before I came to Nawi, I, uh, I booked a flight and a trip with uh, all my mates to go to Europe. Mm. And uh, when we went to, we were going to go to Europe for three months. Um, and yeah, there was a lot of temptations that were going to happen when I was in Europe. And um, God was really putting it on my heart that I probably shouldn't go yep. to Europe with six other non-Christian blokes um, yeah, for three months. Uh, there'll be like the temptations there would be ridiculous, like whether it'd be going out at night, hanging out with like other girls and like who knows what my mates would be doing. It was like a real struggle and I was like really worried about it. Um, and I prayed a lot about it and I, eventually I listened to God. Uh, yeah, and that was, it was pretty tough because I had to have a conversation with my mates who, yeah, were non-Christians and they didn't, like, they didn't really understand what, I, what a Christian did um, and how we were different to them. Yep. Um, and I had to have that conversation with them that I only ended up going to Europe for five weeks. Um, yeah, so that was like a massive struggle uh, and a temptation to like go for that long. But in the end, I decided to listen to God mm. uh, and to really follow what he had planned for me uh, and only go for yeah, the five weeks instead. Yeah, which is very difficult. I mean, how often do we find ourselves trying to have a conversation with someone that we know doesn't believe the same thing as us? And they don't understand why we want to do something, and yet that's a struggle for us to face. And this idea that we're looking at tonight is about persevering through that. And if you know Matt, or if you need to get to know Matt, you'll know that his story started back in the time where he was going to that other church, and it's been years now, but he's had to persevere and make those decisions along the way. And that's what it is, is, is that idea of perseverance and changing that character over time. And it's all for that glory, for one day knowing that we will be reunited with Christ in heaven. And that's what we're striving for. Mm. And I can see it in your guys' responses, and that's awesome. So let's thank these guys again. Thank you so much. For, uh... Wow, you can... Just... Okay, cool. <laughs> Get excited. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna keep going. So uh, now the next thing we like to do after we've gotten to know you is to really get to know you. We want to see how you guys respond to some sort of embarrassing things to do. So we've we've in the history of the, of the, tonight at NBC we played a few games. You guys remember the telephone game? Yeah. yeah. We liked the telephone game. Do you guys remember what we played last time? Bad lip reading? No. No one remembers that one? Oh, you remember now? You want to play that one again, okay? So that's what we're going to do. Bad lip reading. If you don't know how it works, I'm going to quickly explain it for you. And put these headphones on, really loud music. Just be careful, okay? And then I'm going to read out something, and then you guys have to guess what I'm saying just by reading my lips. And in the same way, they can do it to me, and I'll guess what they're saying, and I don't know what they're going to say. So, you guys ready to play? Yeah. yeah. Claire first. What do you reckon? Yeah, yeah Claire first. <laughs> All right, Claire. We'll get this music going. Start it up. It is really loud. Oh, wow. Okay. You can hear that from here. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. So, Claire, put them on. Okay, you ready? All right, guys, here we go. <laughs> it's really distracting. <laughs> Got to get my, my beard out of the way so she can see my lips. Here we go. Barbecue sauce. Cheese. Like, like. Barbecue sauce. Huh? <laughs> Barbecue sauce. Um, <laughs> like, <laughs> Barbie. <Pubs> and cheese. <laughs> Barbecue. Pa- party, party, Bar- party booth. <laughs> Barbecue. Bar- barbecue. Bar- barbecue. Barbecue. Barbecue sauce. Sausages. <laughs> barbecue sauce. Barbecue chalk. Chalk. Sauce. 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 <laughs> sauce. Barbecue sauce, she's got it. Well done, Declare. Gets it with the barbecue sauce there. Whoa, wait oh, up. I'll, I'll go next here. We'll get some oh, music lined next. up for me. Oh, all right. I've got, that, I've got these ones. You got one yeah. for me? Now, I haven't seen this one, guys, so here we go. Mm. Now, we're ready to play. Uh-huh. I'm good. Okay. Oh. I can't hear a thing. I can't hear a thing. Yeah. I can't hear I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah, yeah, go, go, go. Hug a hippopotamus. Hark the Herald. <laughs> hug. Hug. Ark. Hug. Ark. Arca. Hippopotamus. Ark. Ark. <laughs> hug. Ask. Askman. Ark. Hug. Ah. Hung. Hung. Hug. Hunger. Hug. Hug. Hungry. Hug. Hung. Hungry. <laughs> Hung. Hippopotamus. <laughs> Hip. Hippopotamus. Yeah. Okay. Hug. Hunt. Hug. Arg. Hug. Ah. Uh. Ah. Ah. Hippodam. Ah. Hippopotamus. Hug. Ah. Hug. Ah. Ask. No, nah, you can't. Nah. <laughs> oh man, that was difficult. What was it? Hug. Hug. 
Hug a hippopotamus. Hug a hippopotamus. That was good. Well done, guys. Jeez. You got me with that one. All right, Matt, you want to have a go here? Here we go. This is cranking loud. All right, here we go. It's cranking loud. You good to go here? It's cranking. All right, we're ready? You guys ready out there? Here we go. Yalla doggies. Lettuce and sausages. Yalla doggies. Let me sing. Yalla doggies. Let us all pray. <laughs> Yalla. Letter? Ya Yalla. Letter. Yalla doggies. <laughs> it's the beard. It's the beard. <laughs> Yalla. Letter? Yalla. 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 Yalla doggies. Bra. <laughs> Yalla doggies. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> what? Doggies. Doggies. Yeah, you got doggies. Yalla doggies. Yalla doggies. Yes, he got it. <laughs> He's got it. Well done. Well done. Let's have a look at the time. All right, you want to do one more? Yeah. I'll do always. one more. All right, you got, you got another one on there for me? Yeah. You got another one on there for me? All right, here, I'll go again. Here we go. The first one or the second? All right, let me just. First, let's play, play the music. One second. All right, I'm good. Okay. Okay. Seas of sunshine. Sing the sunshine. Oh, seas of sunshine. Set, set the sun. Setting sun. Seas? Sit, sit on the, sit on the sun. Seas of sunshine. T <laughs> Seas? Seas. Seas. <laughs> of sunshine. Orange sunshine. Seas of sunshine. Ching chong. <laughs> Seas. Seas. Sis. Sit. Seas. Sit. Sing. Seas. Seas. D C T D C D C T C C Sing C Sing Sit C Sink Of What is she saying? You speaking English? Of sunshine. Of sunshine. Yeah, yeah. Of sunshine. Seas of sunshine. Seat of sunshine. Seat of sun. C. I have no idea. You're out. <laughs> no idea. Oh, that's too hard. All I right, didn't guys. even have a beard. What, what, what was it? What was it? Seas of sunshine. Seas of sunshine. Jeez. How about you make it easy next time? Fire out. <laughs> Wanted to thank these guys. We're going to say goodbye to them. Thanks, guys, for coming on to the show. See you next time. All right, guys. Well, look at the time, guys. All right, here we go. So, this is how it works. Remember two things, all right? Next week, we have to wear camo. Don't forget that. Uh, don't forget it, because we need to take a photo. Revive two weeks after that. If you don't have a flyer, go and see Luke. Go and see your leader. Another quick announcement for those of you who are in the Wellington team. If you're in the Wellington team, you need to see Luke tonight. You owe him a note, okay? So I'm just going to pray. I'm just going to pray, and we're going to keep, uh, keep it normal, guys. For the leaders out there, keep it normal. All right? All right, here we go. I'm just going to pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much that, uh, yeah, you have given us another night of youth group to come and listen to what you have to say to us, that we might be able to join in community tonight, growing together in, uh, as friends, uh, learning about what you have to teach us about struggling and perseverance and how that build, builds character. Um, yeah, we thank you so much that we're about to go out and um, play some games and have some fun and eat some food. And uh, we just thank you for everything that you give to us. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. So